hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to do masking in kinemaster so guys everybody knows that we don't have the masking tool here available in kinemaster but at least there's something cool i'm going to show you the way how to do masking in kinemaster so i already put this test here and i already keyframe it so you can see how i did the keyframe so it's a simple thing so i just want to show you the demo of how to do this and you can do this in big, bigger projects than this so you can see that we have this test and I want this test behind this character and the best way to do this is to paint it for now so this is the only option we have so and to do the painting first thing you have to do go to layer then media go to layer now you can see that we have something called handwriting so for this before you use the handwriting well, I want to just click on this I want to click on it go to the alpha part and then drop the value of it something slightly so that you can see it a bit so now go back click on layer go back to this handwriting now we have some presets everything set here so for this we have this pencil and we can have a lot of shape being draw on our character as you can see so for that you can see let me just show you something you can see that we can draw something like this on our character and this is all we can do you can see that we can do a lot of things here so for this i'm going to choose circle so i'm going to choose pencil so you can draw you can see what i'm drawing now so what happens is that you can choose the cleaning the pencil you can choose how bigger you want it to look you can see if you want it to be bigger you can do that if you want it to be thinner you can do that so we have all this cool thing going on here in this round writing session and this is very cool so that we can paint out where we don't want from this so i've just choose something look so that you can see this color now we because we are doing chroma key for this you have two colors we have green and we have blue so it depends on your footage you have to choose the one that we match because for some reason i have a lot of blue things on this image video so i won't use the blue so i'm going to use the green so that it can work properly okay so now i've reset all this so now it's right time to paint so what i have to do is to paint where we don't want where we don't want this and where we want this to appear okay so i will just choose the bigger paint for this bigger brush so i'm going to paint on it like so so this is how to do this just do it properly so don't overdo it just paint where exactly you want to see this so you can see that the way i'm doing it okay so we have to just be careful and do this so what we have to do is now click on OK. Now click on the address. We have to keyframe it. Just click on the key, drag it. Click on the key, then drag it back like this. Now you can rotate it. Depend on how you want your final image to look. So rotate it. Depend on your video. So drag it back again. Now we just place it perfect where I want this to be. So something like this. So that we have both side paint so we have to just go back to this layer go back to the handwriting because we have everything set up already so we just have to paint on it so for this i want to be able to see this more clearly so i'm going to go back to the apple passes and then bring it up so to know where i'm going to paint on properly so i have to paint on it like so you can see we are already painting on and you don't have to do too much you just have to paint where exactly you want to see this so go back to the key now you have to keyframe this also so now that's done you can play back to see this but i don't want to spend so much of time on this because this is a tutorial and i don't want to take so much of your time so i'm going to save this just to hide this back so i'll just click on this test then i will just hide it so that we can you don't see it at all in the scene so the next thing now when it is done i just save this so i'll just go ahead and render this this is done saving so the next thing to do is now we don't need this handwriting again because we already did it so we don't need it so we have to delete it delete both effects now go back here now we have to bring up the alpha opacity for this i'll go back to the alpha opacity i will bring it to 100 percent so we have we see this more clearly so go back to layer media now we have to import the project we save just now just click on it now give it the full screen to fit the screen now go back to the effect now choose chroma key now enable this name you have to key this out you can see how this is done and you can see that this works 
at least we have something that is working for us right now so for this test i want to show something different now i will just go back to the blending mode then i will shoot overlay you can see what overlay did to this you can see how it's going so this is the full effect and you can see that it's working let me play this for you now we have the test behind our character and this is exactly what i'm looking for so thanks for watching guys and i will see you guys in my next video